Yeah, yeah, man, it's the homie hood legend back with another vlog. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay in tune with everything going on in Battle Rap. Mad Six, day one was pretty fire, you know what I'm saying? Other than New Jersey twerk, no showing pass, it got pushed to day two. We gonna see what happens with that. And 40 balls choking in the second, you know what I'm saying? Like, balls. 40 choked in the second, bro. She had fire material, but she just couldn't get through her material, you know what I'm saying? But let's get to what we here to talk about. T-Rex had one of them crazy performances last night. I'm going to keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Like, Chilla Jones had fire. You know what I'm saying? Like, the Chilla Jones balls is like, Rex rolling 60. He got to be bowling. He had a, like an R. Kelly scheme that, you know, when Rex said if she old enough to cross the street, she old enough to get hit. He had like an R. Kelly scheme, Fiesta, 12 play. You know what I'm saying? It all led back up to the R. Kelly album, but it was not enough. It wasn't enough. Chilla was fire all three rounds. This is one of the most, like, fireish chillers I've seen in a minute. And for, like, him to be fire all three of those rounds and for Rex to edge every last one of those rounds, it was crazy. Rex started off the battle, smack slamming his hat. This nigga had bars. This was the old vintage drug talk Rex. I don't know what it was. Like, did he ride to the venue with Uncle Rod and Murda Mook and, that, and he knew he had Mook? Behind him, is that what made Rex go crazy? I have not seen Rex in his bag in a minute, bro. For him to get in that bag, he was in that baggington. And for him to get in that type of bag is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what King of the Dot paid him. Organic, what did you pay him? You know what I'm saying? Was it the ride there? Was, was it him being comfortable? Was it him, like, not having to take a flight? And that plays a lot when it comes to, like, these battlers battling, bro. If they are comfortable... If they don't have to get on the flight and they still trying to memorize their balls, they still trying to do this, they still trying to do that in the third, like, does that make a difference in what they do when they actually get on stage? I think it does. I think it does. You know what I'm saying? Like, Rex don't have, like, Mook, like, standing at behind him at, a, like, all of his battles. Mook is there sometimes, but not, like, all the time he's not. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like Mook was being there this time. It made Rex more comfortable. He did not stumble over a word, a phrase. This was that old Rex. This was that old Rex. This nigga had bars talking about 11-11. Uh, it was the 12-12s. Like, this nigga went crazy, man. Then he, the nigga had the, the, the tenderloin. It was like a barbecue scheme. Like, he knew he was going up against Chilla, so he kind of knew he had to kind of, like, scheme and all this and that in the third. And before, like... Like, it has started, it's a like an interview out there with Hip Hop Is Real, and, like, Knowledge is kind of, like, asking Rex, like, yeah, you know Chillers go come in there and scheme, and he's like, look, Mark Mook invented that, you know what I'm saying? So, with him actually being com that comfortable to, like, actually say that, and, like, Rex was, like, he from the face-off, all the way from the face-off, he was in his bag, bro, he was in his bag, so he had, like, a scheming bar that was kind of, like, barbecue, like, grill, saute, like, tenderloin, like, that was crazy, bro. Rex was in his bag. And like like I said, for Chilla to actually be a, a great Chilla. This was a great Chilla. This was not a bad Chilla at all, bro. But for him to be a great Chilla and to still get beat by Rex every round was like, that, that says a lot. That says a lot. That says a lot. Rex, you might need to like, Uncle Rod, you might need to gas up the, 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 the whip the rental or whatever it was, and you might need to ride with Rex to every one of his battles. Mook, you need to do the same thing because this made this man go crazy. This, like, this was like old school Rex, like the t like 10, 15 years ago Rex. He was like out there rapping like his life was on the line. He was out there rapping like back in the day, like when you like, if you like, like choked, it was over. He was out there rapping like that. This man did not stumble a word, bruh. He did not stumble a word. This is one of the best Rexes I've seen in years, bruh. I'm going to keep it real. This is one of the best Rexes I've seen in years. If you go rap like that, you deserve to be on Mount Rushmore. You deserve to be in that GOAT conversation. You deserve to actually go out there and, and, and ask for them big, that big purse and that big money, that big bag that everybody's getting. You deserve that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to keep it real. I'm just going to keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Like... Because this Rex right here, bro, it was just like levels. He showed levels of what it is to be God tier 
and what it is to be like an all-star battle rap. You know what I'm saying? Because it is levels to it. You know what I'm saying? Like some of these guys are like all-stars and, and like superstars, but it's another notch up from the superstar, and that's God tier. And, and, and like Rex showed the difference of that last night. You know what I'm saying? But Mad Six, pretty fire, pretty fire card, bro. You know what I'm saying? You had XL for Chef Trez. Pretty fire battle. You know what I'm saying? I did not see the Mike P versus Real Deal yet. You know what I'm saying? I got to go back and watch that. I did see the T-Rex uh, versus Chilla Jones, which I'm talking about now, and the 40 Balls joint. You know what I'm saying? Like, Sharon just went, he went in there, and he went wild on her, bro. He was like, he had a line, like, in the third. It was like, yo, she's choking because, like, she, she get her bars roped and choking and all this, that, in the third. Like, bro, he had... He had fire, bro. He had fire in all three. But this blog right here is about Rex. You know what I'm saying? This is about Rex. I don't know if 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 Geechee could actually stand in front of that Rex because they were supposed to battle. You know what I'm saying? They were supposed to have a battle, but it never actually happened. It went down. I don't think that Geechee can win. Has Geechee lost hunger in battle rap? That's a whole separate blog that I'm going to do. But the way Geechee was out there, and I've seen that battle, Geechee versus Maul won. But for Geechee to go out there and to be freestyling like he was, it seemed like he started the battle off and he was in his material. But then it's just like he lost his space and he just started freestyling. And I commend him for that because a lot of people lose their space and their material and they just kind of like pause and kind of like can't get it together. But like Geechee is kind of like showing that he, he can freestyle. He's been doing this ever since the Loso battle. You know what I'm saying? Like Geechee, we were telling you this at the Loso battle, bruh. You cannot go out there and you cannot go freestyle. You know what I'm saying? Like, your freestyles be fire, but your written be better, bro. You have, like, kind of, like, been on, like, a downward slope. Are you going to go out there and, 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 and summer madness and try to freestyle versus Miss Hustle? Because if, if so, she is going to, like, kill you, bro. You are going to die if you go out there trying to, like, freestyle versus Miss Hustle. I'm going to keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Like, Geechee, like, bruh, man. Marv, Marv went out there and smacked him up. Marv was, Marv was freestyling too, but his freestyles was more put together. This is what we know Marv for. We don't know Geechee for, like, being, like, the freestyle king. He out there trying to do a little flip, and he trying to be a little flip and all this and that and the third. Bruh, Geechee, you can't be doing that, bruh. You cannot be doing that. You you are starting to lose your, your rank and ranking in battle rap is starting to slowly... Like, fade. Like, Chris and Bias gonna have, gonna have you on a stock drop list, bro. Because your stock is kind of like gonna drop if you don't go out here in Summer Madness and you beat Miss Hustle. If you lose versus Miss Hustle and, like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas is already talking. You had, like, you beat Joey Linwood, but it was kind of, like, kind of close. You know what I'm saying? Like, and a lot of your battles have not been, like, fire, that fire Geechee, that hunger Geechee that it used to be. You know what I'm saying? And it's kind of like a lot of artists do that in the game. They'll come in the game. They'll, you know what I'm saying? They'll start off fire because they're hungry. And they're not getting paid. Then they start getting the bag. They start getting comfortable. They start feeling like they can go out there and freestyle and say anything. And the culture is just going to accept it. But this is not the case. You have to be careful when you're doing this, Geechee, because your stock can drop, and when your stock drops, so does your purse. You have to be careful. Marv won won that battle last night. I thought Geechee was coming out there hungry. The nigga had on a black tee with no jewelry on. I'm like, yo, Geechee is out there hungry. You know what I'm saying? This nigga coming out there to win, but he actually lost. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I can give, I'm giving like Marv the first and maybe the third, and I'm like, I can give Geechee the second. But if he would have came more fire in that first, he would have won that first, bro. I'm going to keep it real. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it real. You know what I'm saying? But Maul was losing his mind. Like, Maul was out there wilding. You know what I'm saying? I guess it, it kind of means something when you have, like, your peers standing behind you. Because he had Quest behind him. You know what I'm saying? Geechee freestyling, talking about Quest and all this, that, and the third, bro. I get it, Geechee. But damn, bro. Like, you're battling Marv 1. You're not battling Quest. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I guess that actually means something when you got your peers standing behind you. It actually makes you go harder. You know what I'm saying? Pause. It actually kind of, like, motivates you to actually put on a good showing. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what a lot of battlers be lacking. Let's just keep it real. They be lacking the motivation. They want the money. They want the bag. They want the, the notoriety. They want everything that comes with it. But they lack the motivation. And sometimes when you got your homie standing behind you and they supporting you and they there 100%, you have the motivation. Like, you kind of like feel like old times because you already know 
like you can kind of like tra time travel and go back and grasp those great moments from your life that's that once happened before you can actually capture that moment again it's kind of like lightning in the bottle so it's kind of like that's what kind of like rex did last night that's kind of like what marv one did last night you know what i'm saying i feel like these these battles were pretty solid you know what i'm saying like king of the dot Y'all need to keep throwing, like, cars like this, having events like this, because, like, the culture needs it, bruh. Like, right now, as far as, like, with the culture being on, like, a downward slope, the culture needs King of the Dot back. You know what I'm saying? Like, because they was one of those dominant leagues that actually can stand alone and kind of, like, compete with Smack and throw the same, like, big events and, and, and have good venues and treat the battlers good and, and put on for the culture. So I feel like this was needed for battle rap and king of the dot moving forward i feel like y'all need to actually put on more of these events because this is gonna actually help push the culture going into 2025 you know what i'm saying we have to keep pushing forward and moving forward you know king of the dot has been one of those leagues that actually came out there and you know they started and they was like one of the top leagues out there you know what i'm saying they was arguably number two you know what i'm saying before like rbe actually came into the game you know what i'm saying like with that being said too RBE, you know what I'm saying, ARP needs to come back. We need these leagues, the top three leagues in the game to actually, like, put on for the culture. Chrome 23 is stepping up. Trenches is stepping up. You know what I'm saying? But with King of the Dot, y'all just need to kind of, like, reappear. I know Organic kind of had kind of, like, lost the love for Battle Rap because a lot of things that was going on in the culture. He did a fire interview on Hip Hop Is Real. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. But he kind of like lost a lot of love for like the culture and the sport and a lot of things that was going on. So he kind of like just took a back seat to battle rap for a while. But we need these type of events uh, to keep going on. To, like I said, push the culture forward. You know what I'm saying? Like we only have like four more months within this year of the 2024 uh year of battle rap so you know with this moving forward we gonna see what next year actually gonna bring for the culture but i feel like you know what i'm saying like king of the dot salute to y'all y'all do a good event i can't wait to see tay rock versus big k today you know what i'm saying hopefully new jersey twerk will show up but anyway it's the homie hood legend y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments till next time make sure you hit that subscribe button man i'm out